Hi guys, welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will learn how to make a beautiful button with animation using HTML, CSS and simple JavaScript. Right now this button is black and the button text is submit. When I click on this button, the button color is changing and the text is also changing to thanks. When we click on this button, the button text move left side and one circle comes from the right side with an animated check icon. You can see this check icon is animated just like we draw a check mark with a pen. We can use this type of button on a form where people submit the form and get a thanks message and a check sign. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures like head, body and HTML tag and this is the CSS file where I have added margin padding and font family. In the HTML file I have added this link tag to connect the HTML file with the CSS file. Now we will add the code in the body tag. So here let's create one div with the class name hero. Now we will add the CSS for this class so let's add it here in the css file here we will add width height and background one color code after that we will open our html file with web browser so you can see a plain color on this web page now let's come back and here we will add one button and in this button i'll add one text in p tag so the text is submit after that you can see this button at this corner let me zoom this website you can see clearly so let's come back and here in this css we will add button and here we will add the css properties like width height border and outline then background and color then font size and border radius text align will be center then we will add box shadow after applying this let's refresh the website and you can see this button looks like this next we have to align this button in the center so just come back and here we will add display flex align items and justify content in this hero now this button is in the center next let's come back to the html file and here we will add one div and let's add the class name checkbox like this Next we will add the CSS for this one. So add this class name in the CSS file. Here we will add width, height, border and box shadow. Then position absolute, top 0, right 0. Now you can see this box on the right corner. Let's come back and in this button we will add position and overflow hidden cursor pointer. In this checkbox, let me correct this one, it will be border radius, 40 pixel. After that you can see one circle in the right side of this button. Now in this circle, we will add background red so that you can see clearly. Next in this circle, we have to add one SVG icon. So here I have this code for SVG icon. I will paste this SVG icon code in the video description so that you can easily copy and use this icon code. Copy this SVG icon and come to the HTML file and add it here. So in this checkbox, we are adding this SVG icon. Here you can see transparent. So let me change its color so that you can see clearly. Let me write blue and now you can see a blue icon over here in this circle. Now we have to design it. So let's come back and we have to add the CSS for this SVG file. So come to the CSS file and add this class name then write SVG. For this SVG we will add the width and margin. Now use this SVG and this path. For this path we will add stroke width it will be 3 then we will add stroke and here we will add white color like this now you can see white color check mark right so next we can remove the background color 
So here let's add the transparent again. Now you can only see the check mark. It looks good. Now let's come back to the CSS file. And here I will add stroke dash array. It will be 34. And let's add a stroke dash offset. And here also I will add 34 right now. So after that, let's add a stroke line cap round. So the corner will be round. Here we are adding 34. So you can see this check mark is not visible. And as I will reduce it, I will write 20. You can see some part is visible like this. If I reduce further, I will write 10. You can see even more part will be visible like this. And whenever I will make the offset 0, you can see the complete check mark like this. So we will use this concept to animate this one. So let me write 34 for now. So it will be hidden. And in this checkbox, let me remove this color. So now you can see a dark color circle here and shadow. So let me hide this one also. I will write opacity 0. So this circle will be hidden. Now you can see plain button over here. Next we have to add the click functionality on this one. After that we will change the color and text and we will add animation. So let's come back and here in the HTML file before this closing body tag we will add a script open and closing tag. Now in this button we will add one id. So the id I am adding btn. And in this p we will add btn text because we have to change this text. So let's add variable here in this script btn equal to document dot get element by id btn. Let's duplicate it and here we will add btn text and btn text. So we have two variables. After that I will add btn dot on click because we have to click on the button equal to function and in this function let's add btn text dot inner html because we have to update the text and the text will be thanks like this now let's check this one if i click on this button you can see the button text is changing to thanks it is working fine right now it is submit if i click here it become thanks now Let's come back and here we will add btn dot class list dot add and we will add one class name active like this. Next we have to add the properties for this active class. So we will apply this class in this button. So just copy this class name active and here let's add the class name dot active right and let's add the background so it will change the background color of the button and add the transition once again after that if i refresh the website and click on this button again you can see button color is changing and the text is also changing next we have to bring the circle from the right side and we have to move this text in the left side so just come back and write this class name again and write checkbox for this checkbox let's add write 0 and uh, and we will add opacity 1 transition of 1 second like this and here we are writing write 0 and in this checkbox you can see we have write 0 so i will change it to write minus 40 pixels so it will look like moving from the right side to the left side After adding this, let's check the web page again and you can see if I click here, one circle is coming from the right side. You can see one circle with a shadow, very light shadow over there. Next we have to move this text in the left side. So write this active here, then write P 
and here we will add margin from the right side 125 pixel and transition 1 second. Let's add this class name again and here we will write svg and path. I told you we will use this stroke dash offset to animate it. So let's copy this one and add it here. Here we will add 0 like this and we will add transition 1 second and transition delay 1 second. After applying this, let's save these changes and refresh the website and you can see if I click here, this text is moving to the left side and one circle is coming from the right side with a animated check icon. So this is how we have designed this beautiful button that we can use in a form. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and please like this video and share this video with your friends and please subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video